Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. Please keep in mind that these messages are general, so if you need a personal, be sure to look in the about section for my email and only those with serious inquiries will be contacted for a uh reading okay if you're interested in a uh yes or no q a tarot reading then those will be 25 dollars and 25 cents if you're looking for a general uh overall reading then those are 75 dollars and 75 cents okay so let's see what's going on what is it that we need to know what's the messages here message for Virgo. Wow. Okay. So we do have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Eight of Cups. So this is your overall energy. Both water and earth is significant. I feel like there will be a missed opportunity or because you're not shutting the door on something or you're not walking away from something, you could be holding up whatever you were supposed to um, receive. Okay. Like something will be a conflict of interest. You can't have both. You have to choose. There has to be a choice being made. And I feel like somebody is trying to omit their feelings from doing something to justify the situation, whatever this is. I feel like somebody is holding something back from you until you give them some type of answer before you, you walk away or before they let go or tell you what it is. Okay. This may have something to do with a relationship here. Okay. This may have to do with a relationship. Now let's see why this lover is here. There is definitely some type of separation. Somebody here could be nullifying a contract of some kind. Okay, whatever this binding contract is, it's nullified. Okay, there is a release of two people being in a foundation or building a foundation with one another. I feel like somebody here needs some time to think or gain knowledge or introspection on something. Somebody is definitely finding it difficult to multitask, to um, to keep up with two things. I feel like somebody's trying to figure it out. Like, what do I do? What decision do I make? Yeah, somebody's trying to resolve it by making a decision. I do feel like somebody here could be overwhelmed emotionally or um, somebody needs to do some type of healing. You could be a healer, okay? Somebody could be an Aquarius Cancerian, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. I do see here that somebody needs to go on their own journey to heal. The number six could be significant. Yeah, I feel like you should choose yourself and your stability. And not anything, not let anything cloud those things here for you. Message. Wow. Okay. So here we go again with the super or landlord. Okay, you got a super or landlord or somebody that owns the property or is in charge of it. That wants you to resume some type of lease or to live there long term or to make some type of like stipulation. Somebody thinks that you're falsifying records or somebody here. Somebody here could be falsifying records in your name, the super. We have out of my element and we have big purchase. I feel like whatever big purchase is coming, you're out of your element. There's a super or landlord that could have a um, disability 
or is falsifying medical records to have um, low income or whatever, whatever this is. Somebody here could even be watching for purchases that you make to say that, like, how are you, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We have dark thoughts and energy. So we have a fallen angel. There is a fallen angel that may have tried to violate or intrude on your relationship or something that you want to keep to yourself or whatever this is. Somebody's trying to intrude in your thoughts. Okay. Somebody could be doing creation magic. Okay. Somebody could be using creation magic on your, your daughter to create some type of illusion. These are forms of magic that allows users to shape various objects and entities from their magic. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more. What is it that we need to know currently at this time? Okay, so I feel like somebody here has not faked a death, but may have been hidden. Somebody may have been hidden because somebody wants monogamy. Okay, somebody fell for a person that they're harvesting their energy. There could be some sort of organ harvesting. Somebody here may be trying to use the person that they wanted monogamy with to manifest you falling for them or something like that. There's, there's this weird energy here. Yeah. Okay. So somebody's taking a lot of BS from a person that they shouldn't. Somebody misses your scent. And what you feel like somebody lacks emotional maturity. Somebody's not in tune with their feelings. I feel like they're keeping a lot to themselves or talking to somebody else about it, or this could be you here. Somebody here is going to be proven innocent for something that's going on. Wow. I'm going to get another one since that popped out. Okay, so the overall card is the bell. So there's some type of announcement that you may need to defend yourself against when it comes to this woman. There's an older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman that you're going to get this money from. Okay, we have yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So there is a woman that is going to be issuing you some type of money. Money's coming to you. She's going to be the one to announce this. But you may need to defend yourself. Yeah, beware of self-delusion. Great good fortune is showing up in the middle of the deck. Okay, we have guaranteed success, flowers, happiness, and door opportunities are waiting for you. So I feel like you're going to be happy with some type of opportunity that could potentially lead to guaranteed success. Tell me more about this woman and why you might need to defend yourself, especially if she's going to be the one announcing that money is coming to you. Why would you need to defend yourself? Okay, look, this woman could be a Leo or have Leo in her chart. Her life path number could be the number seven or she's born on the seven. Something could take seven days, seven hours, seven weeks. Okay, the number seven is coming out again in the middle of the deck. I feel like there's going to be some type of confession or a truth revealed for you to turn a new leaf. I feel like somebody here could be dealing with... um depression or feeling low because of missed opportunities or feeling disconnected. Okay. Somebody here may be, um, a healer. I heard tranquil 
okay you know how to balance your energy somebody here could be into reiki or would be a really good reiki healer okay i feel like um somebody's bored with what they're doing um how they're living the neighborhood that they live in or whatever this is somebody could be born september 7th or the 4th okay somebody could be 47 or born 1974 take it how it resonates okay but seven is significant okay somebody here may make you feel like you have to defend yourself against them but um this person feels the same there's like you guys are balanced in the same energy you feel like you have to be defensive or you have to play the defensive role because shield is here you are shielding yourself from somebody that's trying to defend themselves against you and this is somebody that won't back down and neither will you okay tell me more about the seven of wands somebody here may have been meant to keep you away from an opportunity and i feel like in this conversation it's going to come out but she's the same one that maybe announcing it somebody believes that you are easily influenced and your emotions may arise okay so they they can weave their way into being sarcastic about something here where you feel like you have to defend yourself maybe it's the way that she's presenting the message to you the three of wands is like you're supposed to lose your trail hope or some type of um motivation for something okay somebody is definitely trying to hold something back from you or block some type of change that you're coming into somebody's hoarding for greed somebody is hoarding for greed the fool somebody sees that there will be a new beginning for you so they're trying to stop whatever news is coming to you or may tell you in a way where you might have to wait but somebody really doesn't want something to go go forward there's action somebody here needs to take action towards what they're supposed to give you or some type of news and they're trying to hold you back they want you to live a frugal life instead of you being balanced and you're not having to worry about something somebody here definitely is codependent on the energy that is being presented to you with these coins okay somebody's in fear of or afraid that you will go further with the opportunity that's coming towards you so they're trying to cause a ending but you are supposed to be celebrating because this is where you belong this is your this is your opportunity to take somebody sees that it will make you happy and it is self-absorbed and they feel like they're the only ones that should have these type of means somebody is definitely causing you some type of injustice because they see that your root chakra would be aligned I feel like somebody's trying to block you from this blessing look the two of swords to the ten of pentacles you're supposed to get your pentacles whether it's from an inheritance um you having family security long-term uh, strong foundations etc somebody wants you to be lonely stagnated um indecisive staying in bad situations somebody's trying to keep you stuck whoever this older woman is she could be a leo virgo pisces um she lacks compassion libra heavy libra sagittarius heavy leo capricorn yeah sagittarius leo aquarius sagittarius leo aquarius and capricorn this person could have any of these signs in their chart something is being held up because of a woman or who this woman works for okay but the overall energy here is guaranteed success happiness and opportunities are waiting for you so you have options okay let's see 
message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Look, we have synchronicities. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that you get. Okay, the, the infinity sign is significant. I'm seeing the numbers 1111, 222, and 333. I feel like something is um, lacking harmony, stability, or some type of flow. I feel like somebody here may want to talk to you or converse with you or get some answers so that you guys are on the same page. I feel like somebody needs to release, purge, or surrender because somebody here is trying to make sure that you have no money, no fertile energy, and um, you are being left with no feelings or thoughts of a stagnated beginning, okay? Because somebody sees you as a divine feminine. They want you to be the divine feminine with a lack of unity, a lack of resources, and a lack of everything that you need, okay? They want you to lack content, energy, or commitment, okay? So there's a conversation that could potentially go left. What is this interviewing? Yeah, somebody's trying to delay you from something that you're supposed to receive that will make you happy. Okay, so you may be getting some really um, bad news. Okay, but I feel like the universe is going to apply some type of new beginning, career opportunity, resources, or something that you um, manifested to come into play. I feel like something cannot be um, tarnished or hindered any longer. Somebody wanted you to be the queen of cups in reverse, to be bitter, to be cold, to be insecure, codependent, needy, weak, or whatever this was. They wanted you to go through all types of heartbreak, but there are endless opportunities uh, wishful thinking and you knowing of what your purpose is. I feel like this is going to make somebody come to the forefront to admit to what they've been trying to do behind the scenes or who put them up to it. It's their boss or somebody that acted as if they were a boss, but they were a fake, a fraud. This is somebody that um, wanted only happiness for their family, for their loved ones, for their friends, and they wanted to use trickery and deception to ruin your perception for you not to surrender, for you not to be liberated. They cause conflict for you behind the scenes. Wow. That's crazy. So the reading that I did for the collectives where I said the emperor and a woman is working together to keep you from something, go watch that, okay? There's going to be a, a whole lot of disappointments for this person, for them trying to use shortcuts to put delays on things for you to have a lack of completion to or deficiencies in your life. But there's going to be something to celebrate. Okay. There's a knight of wands and a knight of cups that's coming towards you for some type of um, turning points, change, good fortune, cycle. I feel like you need to shut yourself off from these people because these people will try to deplete you so that you will become unproductive and not be able to birth new opportunities. I'm telling you, people always start to come around when you got shit. The number 19 and one could be significant. Okay, so it looks like whoever these people are, something is postponed. Something is postponed due to a unhappy scene or situation. I feel like you are closed off to, to anybody that you were supposed to meet up with or speak to. I feel like there is no need to discuss or go in for a meeting. This person could even end up calling you, but there is some type of energy that keeps you guarded or resistant to having this meeting. I feel like you can't explain why you're not taken to these people, but today it's like there is a there is an energy of 
not having jet like you're going to see people that are ingenuine okay there is an ingenuity to someone here somebody's in for some type of hustle or money being paid to do something to keep you away from what you need so that you'll be in complete lockdown somebody wants you mentally confined to toxic energy but there's divine intervention at play okay somebody needs to create a paper trail too okay look blocked obstacles so somebody here is definitely trying to block something for you somebody could even be trying to cop block you when it comes to you um encountering intimate energy with someone Look, legal, court, paperwork, or filings. Okay, the truth is coming out about some sort of legal court paperwork or uh, filings here. Or somebody from the legal team. This could be a lawyer, the judge, or whatever this is. Somebody that is a part of the legal team or associated with the courts they know that you're not single or they're they're not they're not single here somebody here may have not even put that they're in a relationship or something like that i feel like this is because you're in the midst of releasing a person that you may have had some type of soul tie or connection with i feel like you're not thinking about this person this person's not thinking about you or whatever this is I feel like you're focusing on your mission, your spiritual miss mission here. What's the message? What is it that we need to know currently for Virgo? Wow. Okay, something is definitely going to be balanced for you. Okay, somebody here could be paranoid that they're being watched, followed, listened to, or very guarded. Okay, but I do see here that there's balance, peace, and happiness all around you. I do feel like you're coming into, you know, releasing a connection so that you can have this glow up. I feel like the more that you latch onto this, this connection that's no longer there, you hinder yourself from your potential opportunities, new career, or successful business. Whoever this person is that you are releasing yourself from may have had some type of um, negative impact spiritually on you okay damn sorry y'all what's the message what is it that we need to know currently? So I do see that justice will be served like a motherfucker. Okay? Justice will be served. All you need to do is look up. Okay? Justice is going to be served for you to have victorious alignment. Greed and overindulgence has um, played a part in something that you're supposed to receive. Look up at the sky to find wealth and abundance that you've planted to grow. Look, you're going to have stability. Look, Sarki, the great diviner who is Arumala, will give you the wisdom and understanding so you know how to take action for you to have stability. That's crazy. You're the manifestier. I've seen that card. So three of these um, spiritual guides are going to help you get towards what somebody does not want you to have. 
okay, is love and abundance. And I talked about it in my reading yesterday. Somebody is definitely out for your good karma and your love situation. Using creation magic to shape various objects and entities from, from their magic. Let's see, Holy Spirit. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have that somebody's not willing to fess up or apologize for some something. Somebody's not sorry, whether this is you or your person. I do feel like someone that you have in your friend group, you guys may plan to travel, get out of the country, or whatever this is. Somebody's looking to set themselves free or gain spiritual awakenings as they go away. Okay. The person that you are not dealing with has not came to any um, illuminating energies to figure out their soul's purpose, but they want to come back towards you because you found yours. Somebody is using your spiritual energy or commitments to help them find theirs. They're not doing the work. They're lazy. They're not willing to commit or comp like compromise for anything, okay, or give you any type of commitment. So just remember that. Let's see here. I don't know if I pull this yet. Let's see. Yeah, look, receiving a gift, it's in reverse. Number 17, grief and adversity. I feel like somebody here is happy that you're, you're being delayed, stopped, paused, or whatever this is with this, this gift, okay? We have this number 32 and a number 17. Somebody doesn't want you to be able to move or go anywhere. Somebody knows once you get this, you're going to start making moves, and they, they want you to stay jailed Okay. Somebody wants to keep you in this weak state so nothing changes. This is a rich gentleman that's doing this. This is a rich gentleman that will not succeed in whatever they're participating in. I don't know if I pull this either. Okay, so there's somebody coming in with some type of unconditional love to so give and receive. I feel like somebody's falling in love with you or you are with them. Okay, I do see that somebody's trying to change their perspective or their mindset from what they've gone through, their experience. I do see here with this ax, there could have been a break of separation or you stopping the pattern or giving somebody the silent treatment. I do see here that a relationship did not evolve because there was no security or stability in a connection. message for Virgo. Okay, so we have Saturn and the seventh house. Saturn and the seventh house is significant here. At the bottom of the deck, we have Taurus. And then the eighth house is in the middle of the deck. So you're dealing with a Taurus or somebody that has Taurus in their chart or something is significant about me. Okay. I do see here that somebody may or may not have to sacrifice something, or if it comes down to it, you're going to um, use and gain power through resources or other people, or other people's resources. I feel like it could become costly to gain resources or time. However, I feel like if you are behind what you believe in, it will be worth it. Okay. I do feel like you need to be concerned or realistic about 
what it is that you are looking for or what the outcome that you are expecting okay as long as it brings some type of balance or you're willing to cooperate you will have partnership between you and other people they could be a virgo pisces or somebody here could be going into the 10th house here i feel like if you show how responsible you can be you will become a person of power and status to make your dreams come true okay you do have methods for healing power because of how analytical you can be how precise you want things to go Let's see, Holy Spirit Divine, what's the message? Message for a Virgo. I feel like it's not too late. Okay. It's not too late for something. I feel like you can ask for an extension if need be. I feel like you are con in control of your emotions, your feelings, or whatever this is. Somebody could have a positive pregnancy test here. I feel like somebody's going to gag. They probably might not have seen this coming. There's going to be some type of positive effect or a pregnancy or something like that. I do feel like you don't mix and mingle your energy with just any and everybody. You feel like you, you search for the best in people or their potential. And I see that you're um, ridding yourself of any type of karmic people or cycles in your life to put yourself on the right track. Okay. One of them did fall out. Give me a minute. I feel like whoever this is that you may be pregnant for that, or that you're around, you make sure that they don't have any psychic tendencies here. Beware of your surroundings. And I feel like this is exactly what you do. You're aware of your surroundings here. Okay, so it looks like somebody could be getting some false information from a tarot reader or somebody's not reading the room right or something is not faded for you okay beware of the advice that you're being given but i do see here that the advice that you're getting from somebody or if you are being coached or coaching someone i do see a uh, victory and success i feel like there is a lack of preserving money or um something like that maybe you're going out to do things for yourself you're self-indulging right now. You're self-loving. Maybe you are at peace. There's a lot of peace in your energy here. And somebody hates when you're at peace. That's why they do all these cursing and spell work and rituals for you not to be at peace, for you not to sleep well. Somebody could even be trying to come into your home to rob you of something. Okay? But somebody's not going down for it or won't take the bribe that has been given from this this assailant here the bad news is for somebody that they can't stop what god has for you even if it if they make it look like it's just um natural causes they can't seem to make you upset whoever this person is that may have tried to rob you from something that you were supposed to receive it ain't gonna go down like that okay they ain't gonna go far without being found I'm telling you, somebody's trying to rob you of something that you're supposed to have some type of victory with or you're supposed to claim. And they're not getting away with it. They're not. I don't know if I pull this, but I'll pull one. Okay, somebody stingy only spends money on themselves, but never on other people. Yeah, somebody's cheap, they're broken saving their pennies. Somebody is really frugal or is in this energy of being frugal. Somebody could be wasting their time on frivolous activities and other people just to play the role of who they are in that moment. Okay, somebody's unhappily married but wanting to fix things, but is it worth it? This is someone that is obsessed with your looks or the appearance of others. Somebody is superficial. Somebody usually doesn't go for anybody that is... Um, beautiful on the inside they, they more focus on the outside okay and i feel like there's some type of addictions that's causing strife and alienation in a relationship whoever this is there's a fake friend that's jealous of your life and is speaking ill of you to others 
okay? So I'm gonna pull on two more cards in my oracles and then I'm going to write out message for Virgo, message for Virgo. Okay, so somebody here is not allowed to invite people over at work, over while you're at work. Look, we have special agent and we have their ex. Somebody's ex is a special agent. Okay, and I feel like they're trying to find something and it's not even there anymore. They're trying to find something. Somebody's trying to find some type of like um, banking information or trying to duplicate or copy something of yours and they can't find it. Okay. Somebody is a whole fucking loser out here. Okay, so we have dependent. I heard this word earlier. There's something about your children or someone that depends on you to um, be taken care of. We have family members X in reverse. We see reservation, priceless. So somebody here is going to try to ask you out on a date. Love this person from a distance, whoever they are. So somebody here has children outside of a marriage or wants to have children with you outside of a marriage without their person knowing what's going on. We have BBW um, and we have an unaliving case. And I feel like God got you. Okay. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.